I present to you 90% of the body of Christ is ignorant of these things and even more than that about some of the things I'm going to share. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. Did you know that? And how do you walk with him? By saying words. That's right. If you got that, you got a lot. If you got that, you got a lot more than a lot of other people have. Did you know that? I mean, you can distill a lot of things down to that. Anyway, so, do you have a Bible? Awesome. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And then let's pray. Holy Ghost, I thank you for being here, for being God in the earth today, where we can walk with you by saying words. We thank you that those words go forth into the earth and cause manifestations that have never happened before. We thank you that things are happening right now, and we yield to you, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right. So, we've been talking about, and this I think is the third message, on the diversity of operations. Have you heard that before? Say diversity, diversity. of operations. operations. You know, and I'm hoping to kind of wrap things up today, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But in 1 Corinthians, you there? 1 yeah. Corinthians chapter 12, and let's start in verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Who wrote who wrote these words? The Holy Ghost inspired Paul that we know of to write these words. And he says, concerning things pertaining to me or to the Spirit, I don't want you to be ignorant. Mm -hmm. Now, what would that imply? It, the things that follow, they might be ignorant of those things. Mm -hmm. I present to you 90% of the body of Christ is ignorant of these things, and even more than that about some of the things I'm going to share. Say ignorant. ignorant. Right? They're ignorant of it. The Bible clearly says they are. Right? That could apply to us too, but you know, hopefully this is written here so that we won't be as ignorant as we were before we got here. Right? Say, I'd like to be not as ignorant as I was before I got here. Well, welcome. Right? Okay. Now concerning things pertaining to the Spirit, it could be written that way. Brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols even as you were led now why do you think you call them dumb idols because they, they don't speak right so and we know that walking with the Holy Ghost is by speaking and guess what the Holy Ghost speaks and he speaks of himself mm -hmm. you know that you were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols even as you were led wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking say speaking, speaking. speaking speaking by the Spirit of God so you have a guy who's dumb and not speaking and you have one who is not dumb because he's speaking by the Spirit of God are you here is this too difficult where if I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed right mm -hmm. and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost so what mechanism is somebody going to say that Jesus is Lord by? The by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost inspiring them. Mm -hmm. Can they do that without the Holy Ghost? No. 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 Now, verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. What Spirit? Different Spirit? No. You, you don't think he's talking about different Spirit in verse 4 now? <laughs> no, the same Spirit. Right? There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of administrations, but the same who? Lord. Who would this Lord be talking about? Would have to be the Holy Ghost, because he says now concerning things pertaining to the Spirit, I don't want you to be ignorant. He goes on and says they're all by the Spirit, and then he says the same Lord. I can take you to other verses of Scripture where the Holy Ghost is called Lord uh, many times. But we're still talking about the same Spirit. 
right so he's got uh, diversities of gifts and there are differences of administrations right the administrations could be service we could translate that that might make a little more sense to us differences of gifts but the same spirit differences of administrations but the same Lord there are diversities of operations say diversities of operations diversities of operations but it is the same God which works all in all are you seeing this so he's called the Spirit he's called Lord he's called the same God who are we talking about the Holy Ghost and things pertaining to the Holy Ghost right there are diversities of operations but the same God which works all in all and then verse 7 which I've preached on many times but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all now I've told you that there's a new manifestation of the Spirit coming because we've been sowing new things to the Spirit predominantly worship which hasn't been done before which means when you sow to the Spirit you of the Spirit reap if you sow something different to the Spirit you're going to of the Spirit reap something different you see that and the God won't be mocked over it there's a new manifestation of the Spirit coming have you ever heard me say that can you hear that you can hear it there's a new manifestation of the Spirit coming but there's not gonna be a new manifest you see this new manifestation of the Spirit the but the manifestation of the Spirit is given you see that verse 7 there's not gonna be a new manifestation of the Spirit given unless there's a verse 6 the new manifestation of the Spirit given is in verse 7 right what's in verse 6 diversities of operation so there's no new manifestation of the Spirit without verse 6 are you seeing this I'm really kind of reviewing some stuff because I'm trying to wrap things up I've got some more things to say about this but we need to get up to speed mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost or using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is an operation of the Spirit it's a new operation of the Spirit it's a diversities of operation the word diversities means completely different it's different than something else it's completely different so there's an operation of the Spirit that's completely different right diversity means different operation means effect an operation you go in for an operation hopefully you get the right operation one operation does one thing another does something else how many stories have you heard somebody you know huh they have to write on their leg with a magic marker don't cut this one off there are diversities of operations and I've told you and I hope you heard by the Spirit of God that worshiping the Holy Ghost or using the words I worship you Holy Ghost what does that mean using the words I worship you Holy Ghost yeah and saying them right you go ah, I worship you Holy Ghost well what is that I worship you Holy Ghost there's so much that goes into that you're worshiping God in the earth today how do you worship God how you walk with God by saying words what words I worship you Holy Ghost would be a good place to start right I worship you Holy Ghost is a different effect it's a different operation it has a different result do you know this when you start using the words I worship you Holy Ghost which is an operation of the Spirit it will take you to a place that can't be gotten to without those words or that operation That's right. right you can't get there without going from here mm -hmm. <laughs> so we can see that I worship you Holy Ghost is designed to take you some place mm -hmm. it's an operation of the Spirit it's completely different it's so different it doesn't even exist in most circles what's that mean see we've been down these roads. what does that mean if it doesn't exist in that circle and you worship the Holy Ghost you have to go outside that circle you go outside the camp now the problem with going outside the camp it's scary because nobody else is there and then you question everything but believe me I've questioned everything I've tried to answer these questions as much as I can 
message after message on the website you go there and look them up it answers all of those questions what about this what about that what about this questions right you say oh well the first question is oh should I be doing this <laughs> should I be worshiping God hmm that's a tough one but see don't people don't think about it that way I wrote that down here he told me to say that last week they have not known me as God in the earth today if they had they would worship me it's as simple as that if you know him as God in the earth today who the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today if you know him as God in the earth today you would worship him simple right but that doesn't exist it doesn't exist in those circles I know I've been in all the circles running around in a circle are you here and we see that I worship you Holy Ghost is designed to take you someplace else now if I worship you Holy Ghost is an operation of the Spirit and I've I, hopefully I've proved this to you and it's designed to take you somewhere then without it you can't get to the place you need to go and I've talked about other operations of the Spirit an operation of the Spirit with you being filled with the Holy Ghost and praying in other tongues that is a wonderful operation of the Spirit I do it a lot how about healing is an operation of the spirit the healing revival right we talk about all these other revivals God doing an operation in the earth administering things who the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost will take you it can't it's a different operation is this making sense there we therefore we can't get there by having a revival of old-time revivals we all would uh, great old-time revival wonderful but it won't take us to where we need to be right yeah and all of the old time revivals had people that had to go outside the camp because the people in the camp didn't want anything to do with that are you here and it's uncomfortable because they're all criticizing you and they all say you're a heretic so the Holy Ghost worship puts you in a different category it's not found in Christianity I've looked it means you have to go outside the camp does it mean you're a heretic no it just means that you're moving with the Holy Ghost in a diverse operation say I'm moving, I'm moving with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. In, a in a diverse operation, operation. are you seeing this good there's some circles they still debate whether people should speak in tongues or not I'm floored over this because you know they obviously have no idea what's going on that they would debate that debate it. oh that passed away I had a friend who you know we got him saved and filled with the Holy Ghost and all that happy stuff you know and we'd have these Bible studies during the week and uh, come to find out later on he was like scared of me I didn't know that but he was he was frightened of me the way I presented myself but he came anyway he went off to a Bible college say a Bible college yeah they were kind of fundy fundamentalist types you know and he came back on vacation when we're like, we're like meeting up with him hey how's it going it's good to see you and you know he told us that he could no longer pray in tongues because he couldn't do it in faith they had instructed him at the Bible college that this wasn't for today people debate it people teach this and preach this so here we have people that here's an operation of God coming through and he wants people right to be filled with the Holy Ghost and he has this charismatic movement and now these people are rejecting that it's gonna be difficult for them to catch up what about you know and then you got the healing people people would debate whether it's God's will to heal people or not I don't know how they do that with the word you know he heals you of all your sicknesses right and all your diseases how many is all? all well then what are you debating what's the debate I guess the debate is whether you believe the word or not yeah. well the same debate would go for us here with the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost God well yeah should you worship him no if you knew him as God in the earth today you would worship him and if you did that's an operation of God that will take you somewhere that you can't go without it right what about the word of faith so much good teaching came out of the word of faith people debate it hate it mock it criticize it write books about it have radio shows that do nothing but mock the word of faith or the prosperity message how do they do this something that God is moving in the earth with operating on his body in the earth and they reject it they're not gonna be able to go on are they 
They've rejected the past ones. All right. Now you hear? I think I made my point. Some people would doubt it. Some people would debate it. Right? Some would debate using the words, I worship you, Holy Ghost. Wouldn't they? If you tell people, you go, yeah, I worship the Holy Ghost because he is God in the earth today. And he does something completely different to me. Would they debate that mm -hmm. they say oh well you're that's not right the first scripture they'll show you is that he doesn't speak of himself mm. not what it means he doesn't speak away from himself mm -hmm. he is the spirit of truth he won't speak away from the truth so help him God mm -hmm. he's like putting his hand on the Bible and saying I'll say the truth and nothing but the truth so help me me <laughs> that's what that means mm -hmm. but they say oh he doesn't speak of himself so he's not even gonna talk about himself that's that's crazy talk he's gone I can show you time after time where the Holy Ghost is saying listen to me go do this yeah. mm -hmm. That's right. so how can they ever get to that place where they're receiving this new operation of God this diverse operation if they don't receive him as God in the earth today because I guarantee you if they received him as God in the earth they would worship him because that's what you're supposed to do with God I don't know if you knew that or not you worship God and pagans know that you know pagans in India they have all these gods what do they do they worship the God a little statue the dumb ones they worship the dumb ones we're not worshiping a dumb one he's the Holy Ghost he speaks yes. right okay I think we're making ground we're covering some ground here so some would debate whether uh, you should worship the Holy Ghost some would debate whether the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today they would debate this and if they're not debating it even though they might give lip service to it they're certainly not acting that way mm -hmm. anytime I hear somebody giving an altar call and say come and and Jesus is gonna touch you mm -hmm. Jesus isn't gonna touch them Jesus isn't gonna do anything that he hasn't already done 2,000 years ago mm -hmm. who will touch them the Holy Ghost because he's God in the earth today my point here is that people would debate you on this and people would would take the opposite stand and say that you're a heretic over this by saying hey well the Holy Ghost he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today in fact it's not even up for debate in almost 90% of the churches it's not even a, this question of whether he's God in the earth today and you should worship him isn't up for debate it doesn't exist yep. nobody's even proposed the question that's our job is to make sure people are getting this question and we're proposing the question are you seeing this at some point your journey takes you outside the camp what camp would you go outside of well the camps where they don't worship the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today what camp would that be that'd be all the camps <laughs> but this is how it's done and nobody likes it this way nobody wants a message that takes them outside the camp unless they're hungry for God and he's taken them outside the camp to give them a revelation that nobody else has and that's rough because you sit there and you question yourself all the time well, why me why me how many times you heard me say that why me why me it's probably what it sounds like to God you know and I believe it I'm not I'm not the first one that God's given this message to it's that they won't go there they're not willing remember the other week I shared they're not willing to sacrifice their big edifice that they have for a revelation they don't consider that as valuable as all this other stuff same thing I mean any of the other operations of God praying in tongues is is praying in tongues or speaking in tongues more valuable to you than staying in the camp that you're in that's the question you have to ask yourself right most of us said well yeah I can't deny that now I mean you go far enough into worshiping the Holy Ghost you can't go back and you can't deny him how am I gonna deny him I know him as God in the earth today I must worship him well you can't hear well then I'm not here I'm over there right At some point your journey takes you outside the camp you still here yeah. anytime you receive the new it removes you from the old I used to think old now I think new you see 
and that new thinking especially when you worship the Holy Ghost because he teaches you to profit he leads you by the way that you should go he teaches you he's the one that Jesus sent in the earth to teach you things he'll teach you everything right from the very beginning and it's only when you go wait a minute I, I don't know all the stuff that I thought I used to know that you start to be open to what he's instructing you in and it's very expensive it costs a lot it costs you everything many times say everything did Jesus talk about this how many times did Jesus talk about this so what you have and come follow me That's, he wasn't just talking about money he's talking about uh, all this stuff if I go follow him I'm gonna be accused of being one of those you know, tongue talker you're a tongue talker tongue talker tongue talker I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper I believe the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today is that heresy or is that scripture it's scripture so I worship God in the earth he came into the earth now it'd be different if Jesus never left he said I'm gonna leave and send another did he yeah who's the another the Holy Ghost is he here yes. yet did he leave no did Jesus come back yet now we've been on this a hundred times so who does that leave in the earth the Holy Ghost who is God and we worship him and we walk with him are you getting this so it's very expensive it costs more now the expensive things are usually more valuable is that difficult the expensive things are usually more valuable right if it costs you a lot it's usually uh, it, it's usually better especially in the long run you figure you buy an expensive car does it cost more to run and maintain yeah right you get a cheap car yeah you can throw a $30 part in it you buy you know a very expensive car there are no $30 parts to throw in it and it costs more to drive it costs more to maintain it costs more to insure right but is it better anyway go to a Proverbs I want you to see this Proverbs 14 find it Proverbs 14 let's look at verse 4 where no oxen are the crib is clean is that right yes. let's say you got you got a barn out back of your house and there's a crib in there for oxen and you don't have any mm -hmm. how clean is it in there mm -hmm. it's pretty clean there's no oxen in there and what happens when a, when a cow or an oxen goes into a place they dirty it up pretty quickly yep. they're big animals where no oxen are the crib is clean but much increase say much increase. much increase much increases by the strength of the ox you see that what do you mean you can plow more you can go farther much in say much increase. much increase much increase comes by having the thing that has power by having the thing that can do the work right mm -hmm. and it's expensive mm -hmm. I had you know when was the last time you bought an ox it was a while right they've gone up in price they're not cheap anymore but you understand what I'm saying an ox in the day would be a tractor price a tractor out what's a John Deere tractor go for these days where no oxen are the crib is clean but much increase comes by the strength of the ox it means you know things get dirty things get confusing things get it requires more maintenance I'm talking about the differ diversity of operation of worshiping the Holy Ghost it's expensive it cost a lot but say but but. but but it does something that the other things can't do it's like a tractor that can perform things that the other ones can't do talk in tongues all day I know I've, I've even experimented with this talking tongues talking tongues talking tongues talking tongues talking tongues all day long and it still doesn't get me to the same place that I worship you Holy Ghost does for five minutes am I against speaking in tongues no because that does something completely different mm -hmm. and it's good but it'll never do the same the thing that I worship you Holy Ghost does are you seeing this and the expense isn't just in purchasing you don't purchase these you know you purchase it by studying the word and going I worship you Holy Ghost because you're God in the earth today and as you do that it gets costly because it starts to cut off things that you thought were really precious to you but now they're well hmm. there's some friendships some people don't like it when you say stuff to them 
right is that true and then we go oh well maybe I shouldn't say anything why maybe they needed to hear it so we have this is good we have a power that no one else has yeah, you can't say that we have a power that no one else has you have a power that no one else has if you worship the Holy Ghost and you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you have a power that no one else has we have a message that is expensive that will do something that nobody else has and a lot of people don't even want because they don't want to pay for it back to tongues again I know preachers that won't talk about it because they'll lose half their congregation you know that's true right how about this oh this you got to worship the Holy Ghost and Jesus isn't here yeah that'll fly over big and he's not coming back until he comes back which means he left but if he didn't leave he didn't send you another and he sent the another so that's the proof that he left so us worshiping the Holy Ghost is proof that Jesus isn't here you know and he's not mad at me for saying that I would be considered a heretic though for saying that when the reality is they're the heretic because they're the one preaching stuff that isn't scriptural Ezekiel chapter 3 you there look at verse 8 behold I've made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their foreheads yeah as an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead fear them not neither be dismayed at their looks though they be a rebellious house you see you see so God does this to you and when he gives you a message you understand that we've got a message that nobody else has we have it it's something I remember I was preaching remember I, I preach on uh, yeah that God wants to renew your youth you ever heard that yes. and we have this series out there on you know youth renewal God healing you by restoring your youth that there are a bunch of diseases that come on people because they get older and those diseases are not found in younger kids so one of the methods that God uses to heal those diseases that came on people because they got older is what he renews the youth in that area where did I get that message from you made it up really I wish I wish I made it up that'd be great I would be an awful lot smarter and think I was a lot smarter than I actually am but I didn't I got that message from the Holy Ghost and this message was out there and somebody contacted me not too long ago and he said I've never heard that before that's totally per I can't believe it blew me away and I said hey guess what it's your message now you go and take that with you but see God gave me a message and now he's got the message and he can go with it you see that well who paid the price to get it I did by praying in tongues a lot and meditating on youth renewal and preaching on youth renewal you see it was expensive and we give it away freely such as you have you give to people right yes. all right so you saw that right he makes your face strong against their faces why would this be he makes your forehead harder than theirs so that you don't break under the criticism or the lifted eyebrow that mm, or the look of them going I don't like you it's like join the club <laughs> you don't have to like me but this message is coming from the Holy Ghost It's coming from God in the earth today and you better like that because if you don't like it you're rejecting an operation of God in the earth today say God, God. in the earth, in the earth. Today. today who are you talking about the Holy Ghost remember we played that song early on that we played it tonight Holy Ghost your God in the earth today and this this girl in one of our early services she was in cemetery I mean seminary and she would look she saw the words up on the screen and she went she was dumbfounded she goes I can't the theology in this song is dumbfounding she'd never heard that before the father's in heaven Jesus is at his right hand and the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today 
she's in seminary how does she not know this what God is she serving so they have not known me as God in the earth today otherwise they would be worshiping me says the Holy Ghost first Corinthians chapter 11 verse 19 for there must be also what is this in your Bible there must be also heresies among you say among you, among you. that they which are approved they what they heresies which the heresies which are approved may be made manifest among you if I reject all of these things oh well, we can't have any of that Holy Ghost business have you ever heard that I've heard that we don't want any of that Holy Ghost business are you a church what are you what are you there must also be heresies among you that they which are approved say approved approved, approved what an approved heresy mm -hmm. who's the heresy is the heresy to God is the, is it a heresy to God that you worship the Holy Ghost because he's God near today is that a heresy to him no but it's a it's to others and they if they don't have it among them it can't be approved and that can it then it can't be among them it can't benefit them I'm probably making this more difficult than it has to be but you understand right did you know that was in there so Holy Ghost only being the Holy Ghost he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and using the words I worship you Holy Ghost to worship the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today those things need to be approved by people they need to receive them we need to bring it up for debate so to speak not necessarily oh let's debate it you know so you can tell me and uh, but they, they don't know anything about it it's our job because right now you know it as well as I do it's not it doesn't even exist in there in the camps because we've had to come outside the camp but eventually it goes back into the camp you get it right mm -hmm. now that's part of our job introducing the Holy Ghost into the equation mm -hmm. that you worship him he's God in the earth today he's the only God in the earth today that's our message you know that God gave us a message what's your message that God gave you that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words you ever heard that how'd you get there you should know how you got there so that's part of our job right but that's not our only job first Corinthians 9 24 know ye not that they which run a race run all but one receives the prize so run that you may obtain so run that who may obtain you may obtain you see it's not just so everybody else can obtain that's our message we present it you know we hold forth the word of life there's a scripture that says that we hold it forth whether people receive it or reject it doesn't matter because my main job isn't to get them to convert it's it's to obtain it's for me to run I'm running in such a way that I may obtain say that I may obtain, I may obtain. what about healing how can I you want to run that race well how are you gonna run that race so that you obtain it right what about the prosperity race you're gonna run that one nah, I don't wanna. it says hey run a race run all and that's a problem right there a lot of people aren't running they're like eh, I'll sit on the sideline so you're gonna run you know what running means right because you got to walk 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 so walk is that what it says and then the running is like a fast walk even faster than a walk you can't even walk anymore you ever see the Olympics where they do the fast walk a walking race I'm like <laughs> how does that that doesn't make sense and they look ridiculous too <laughs> I'm gonna walk faster than you why don't you run now that's not allowed <laughs> all right I'm almost done you there what does it say no you're not the day which run in a race run all but one receives the prize. so run so run that you may obtain that you may obtain right and what are we talking about obtaining what if we're talking about worshiping the Holy Ghost right we've been given a, a diverse operation of the Spirit 
which is using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and knowing that the Holy Ghost is God near today and worshiping him right mm -hmm. and that takes us somewhere that the other things can't take you doesn't mean you don't do the other things it means do this in this race of Holy Ghost worship you want to obtain what whatever it is that's in Holy Ghost worship obtain what number one you'll be obtaining a new coating coating like a coating like Teflon no a coating like it codes your inner programming and it recodes you to something completely different well I don't want that you keep worshiping the Holy Ghost you will want that he'll put the desire in there he'll change it you know because when you're outside the camp the view is different than inside the camp mm -hmm. did you know that mm -hmm. you ever heard yeah you can't see the forest there's too many trees <laughs> look at this tree and that tree well when you get outside the forest you can go oh well this is really a pretty big forest <laughs> let's go that way see when you get outside it's different the view is different mm -hmm. in Holy Ghost worship the view is different so we're talking about running and obtaining what are we gonna obtain new coding what if I don't worship the Holy Ghost enough to get completely new coding did I win the race no you got you stalled out you like the marathon you know the Boston Marathon or whatever you have you know 20,000 you have, you have a, a guy from Kenya two guys from Kenya and a woman from Finland and 20,000 losers that's a marathon but that's not gonna be you you're gonna run so that you can obtain obtain what obtain what is in worship the Holy Ghost right being new cut newly coded completely transformed and remember I told you there's a new manifestation of the Spirit but where is that it's in Holy Ghost worship it's at the end result it's across the finish line of worshiping the Holy Ghost so run that you may obtain obtain what as far as the operation of God takes you that's how far we need to run that with this we need to keep running with it say keep running. keep running do you win the race if you stop running halfway through but this is no small revelation this is no small thing it, it cost a lot to get here I don't know if you know that or not and it's of great value it's a pearl of great price it supersedes all of the other things he's the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today all the promises in him are yes and amen forget not all the promises of God who forgives all your sins heals all your iniquities heals all your diseases right renews your youth oh I forgot that one don't forget them you won't forget them listen to me you won't forget them in the Holy Ghost worshiping him he'll remind you of them I worship you Holy Ghost is an operation of God it's a diversities of operations are you here and it will take us to some place that nothing else can and that's our race we need to go there stay there live there learn there fully commit to going there regardless of the cost regardless of who else isn't gonna go you know if you decided uh, your walk with God who's God by the way the Holy Ghost you decided your walk with God I'm not gonna keep going if my friends don't go with me right, right? how far are you gonna get Jesus even talked about that it costs you a lot it's 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 expensive to follow God but the rewards are eternal they're great and we have something that nobody else has we have a gift we have an operation of God operating in you that nobody else has run with it run run you gotta run run with it get up in the morning and what do you say I worship you Holy Ghost then it's very important what you say after you say I worship you Holy Ghost why because you've got his attention I suggest doing your confessions and some scriptures and uh, glory to God Holy Ghost I thank you that you are blessing these people great things are coming upon them and to them right now don't let them miss it say this after me I worship you Holy Ghost, worship you, Holy Ghost. don't let me miss it me miss and I'll continue, continue to worship you, worship you. Until, I win until I win the great prize in Jesus name, Jesus name. Amen. amen 